Silver Dollar City is a theme park in Branson, Missouri, well known for its record-breaking thrill rides, authentic craftsmanship, and top-of-the-line entertainment. The Frisco Silver Dollar Line mixes all three and has been afloat for more than 60 years. Silver Dollar City's roots into railroading trace back to the winter of 1962 when the Hershen brothers ventured to upstate New York to purchase their very first train. They wanted a train for their new theme park because they felt that no frontier town, in which Silver Dollar City is based off of, is complete without a steam train. I mean, railroads built this country, what a better way to commemorate that than to actually have a train. The engine that they settled on was a converted tank engine built in 1922 by the Davenport Locomotive Works of Davenport, Iowa. Shown as the Davenport sister, number 7. Our Davenport likely looked like this once it was built. They were both built for the Wayne County Board of Roads Commission in the namesake county in Michigan. They were both eventually deemed surplus and sold to Henry Ford of the Ford Motor Company. The Davenport was rebuilt with a tender and a new cab to fit Henry Ford's children. The engine went into service on his estate as a plaything for his descendants. This image, courtesy of the Henry Ford Museum, shows Henry Ford's son oiling the engine. In 1955, well after his death, the estate sold the Davenport locomotive to the now defunct Adventure Town Wild West Amusement Park in Alexandria Bay, New York. Jack and Pete purchased the engine from Adventure Town in winter 1962. Once it arrived at its new home, problems arose. The main problem was that the brothers knew absolutely nothing whatsoever about trains. Luckily, a hero arose. The St. Louis San Francisco Railway, popularly known as the Frisco, saw aiding the Hershens as a great PR opportunity. The Frisco was a large rail company headquartered locally in Springfield, Missouri. They later were acquired by Burlington Northern, which merged into the BNSF in 1995. The Frisco assisted in building the railroad as well as providing the resources and materials necessary. They also granted the Hershens use of Frisco theming, which is still in use today. With the railroad built, they decided to break in the Davenport. However, there were several problems. The worst was that there was no stretch of flat track on this railroad, considering the rugged Ozark landscape. The Davenport was also tasked with tackling a 7% grade, which is extremely steep for a railroad. Predictably, it didn't make it. This hill, known today as Powder Keg Hill due to its location, is still around, but trains descend the grade instead of climb up it. The other problem was that the coal burning fire in the firebox constantly set its surroundings on fire with cinders and ash. Luckily, there were solutions. For one, the firebox was converted to burn off oil, which gives off little to no spark. The engine could also build up enough steam pressure to climb up Powder Keg Hill. This would cause boredom from the passengers as the train would just sit there for 10 minutes. A tradition the park is known for are many street shows and performances. This was prime, especially around the time Silver Dollar City opened. What if they put on a show down by the tracks and made up a train robbery skit? This actually worked, and also made extra money off passengers being, quote, robbed. The robbery is still around today, and it uses many of its original lines. The railroad fully opened on May 27, 1962. Over the years, many things happened. The Davenport was retired, more rolling stock was acquired, most notably in 2016, and the railroad has advanced and thrived ever since. In this video, we join engines 504 and 14, which were present during the period this video was shot. We will watch them complete their duties by order of location, not the time taken. So, in some shots, the environment may look different as this was filmed in the spring of 2020.
last night. They tried to burn down half our town. Now we're looking for volunteers. Got a bunch of food out there. Wait. Engine number 504 was built in 1941 by Czech company CKD as a D670 type tank engine. The engine ran in Germany until she was brought into the U.S. in the 60s. From there, a private collector from Minnesota altered 504 with a new cab, tender, and many Americanized cosmetic changes. He died in 2012, and the engine was overhauled by Silver Dollar City just last decade. Number 14 was built in Berlin by machine company Orenstein and Koppel in 1938. She and her twin sister worked for the same contractor until being split up later on. 14 then worked at a sand pit in Germany. In the 70s, she came to the States and sat on the same estate as 504 until they were both bought by STC and overhauled in Branson. 14 has reunited with her sister, 13, for the first time in many, many years. Now, for you daredevils, we're pulling into the Valley of the Giant roller coasters. We've got three roller coasters coming together right here on this corner of the park. On your left side is the base for Powder Keg. That's our explosive roller coaster. It goes from 0 to 65 miles an hour in about two seconds. <laughs> Place over up there, son. I about three dudes on the whistle. Y'all, that was only two toots on the whistle. I did ask for three, didn't I? I ain't I'd like to be flipped upside down three times in one day, but if you are, hey, I will run real good at it. All right, folks, we're about to go through a tunnel, so do keep your arms, legs, heads, and hands inside the train. How about we have a screaming contest inside the tunnel? We're going to go car by car. Car one, you are up there right behind the engine. You're going to start it off. Car one, scream. Car two, scream. Car three, scream. Ah! Let's go. Now everybody scream. Ah! Announcing our presence with authority and scaring wildlife for miles around. Just a little behind the scenes look at Silver Dollar City for y'all. Out there on the right side, that was Outlaw Run we just passed by. As we go around this corner to the left, if you look out to the right, that's the backside of Mystic River Falls. And if you look closely, there's some overflow water that comes out of that. I keep telling them on hot days like this, they have to just make that overflow water spray onto the train. We'll make the far right seat part of the splash zone. What do y'all think?
Here's the first man here in the front of the right. Put your right hand to the back just a little bit. So right front, so you can do the elbow. 